So here's my laser cut tangram. You can see it's been made from four millimeter, four millimeter birch plywood. This is nice plywood. So if you want to make one of these and you've completed your text off drawing, if you export that as a DXF for me, like I showed you, and then email it to me, MO at Milford Haven School, I will laser that out for you. And then if you send me a personal email with an address and a postcode, I will put that in the post for you. I've got some envelopes lined up. There they are, like, And I'll put your address on it and I'll pop it in the post. Now, what I would say to you is when you get it home, if you um, get some light sandpaper, if you've got any, and just take these edges off, just to tidy them up a little bit, because this sootiness is from the laser cutting and that will uh, get onto your clothes and things like that. So just give it a bit of a clean up. And then what I would do is maybe get some water-based paints uh, and give them each a different coat of paint. You could even go the full hog and uh, if you've got any primer, you could prime those up. It'd be a lovely uh, kid's toy that was. Water-based paints would be good for safety. And your idea now is that you can use these and you can create different uh, shapes from them. And they have things like, um, uh, let me think what you can do. There's a horse. I'm trying to remember how to do the horse. No, I can't remember it. So you can use them as a sort of, um, as a game to try and design different patterns and shapes. It's getting brain working now. Anyway, and the other idea is you give it to somebody and say, make that into a square for me, and they can see whether they can put it back to being a square again. But you can't do that, obviously. You have to use all the pieces. Worth doing. So there you are. Send me the DXF file of your completed tangram, and I can laser one out for you. You can have it home.